Hello everybody, I am wishing you a very Merry Christmas. Hello, my name is Annette and welcome to Kitchen Garden Farmhouse. Today is December the 25th, Christmas Day. Can you believe it's here already? Christmas is celebrated in the U.S. on this day. But also upon this day, December the 25th, it is National Pumpkin Pie Day. Every year on December the 25th, over 2 billion people around the world celebrate Christmas Day. A lot of people worldwide celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ on this day and in this season. One of the most popular Christmas customs is gift giving. And actually the custom has its roots in the Magi's who brought gifts to baby Jesus not too long after he was born. Jesus is the reason for the season. The candy canes is a wonderful Christmas tradition. Uh, back in the day, they were plain, they were white, and they were unflavored, and they looked like a stick. And the canes existed as early as the 1600s. And you know, it wasn't until like 1920 when they actually put the hook version on the stick and it became very popular. Well, Bob McCormick from Albany, Georgia, he took the peppermint candy and gave it a red and white striped twist, and his candies became very popular. The beautiful poinsettia is another tradition that really blossomed in the United States during the early 1920s. And you know, the poinsettia has a beautiful legend behind it, and this is how the legend goes. It took place in Mexico, and according to the legend, there was a girl that wanted to desperately celebrate Jesus' birthday. She was very worried because she feared that she would have no gift to offer because she was very poor. And so an angel tells her to give any gift, but just give the gift with love. So she went out and she gathered some weeds along the side of the road and the young girl placed them in a manger. Miraculously, the weeds bloom into a beautiful red stars as what we know as the poinsettia. That is the legend that I heard about the poinsettia. Another Christmas tradition is putting up a Christmas tree, be it an artificial one or an evergreen Christmas tree of some sort. Uh, it has been something that's been a tradition for many, many years. And back in the day, when they didn't have the decorations that we have today, the trees were decorated with what they had, such as fruit and flowers and things such as that. Another Christmas tradition is caroling. Have you ever went caroling? If so, please leave me a comment below. I remember back in the day, many years ago, that my husband and me and some people from my church, we went caroling one Christmas. We had went to a subdivision and we had our songs ready in the hymn books. We would go outside of their houses and we would sing carols and you could sometimes see people coming to the window looking. It was a very special moment to share those carols with people in that way. Has fruitcake been something that's been a family tradition in your family or somebody that you know? If so, leave a comment below. But fruitcake seems to kind of go along with Christmas. And actually, the fruitcake's been around for a very long time. And there's some very old fruitcakes still floating around out there. I hear there's two friends from Iowa, and they have been exchanging the same fruitcake since the late 1950s. And even older than that, there's a fruit cake that was left behind in Antarctica by the explorer Robert Scott in 1910. But the honor for the oldest known existing fruit cake goes to one that was baked in 1878 when Ruther Ford B. Hayes was president of the United States. So I'm thinking probably the 
effect of the sugar and the low moisture ingredients and some of the high proof spirits maybe it's what makes these fruit cakes some of the longest lasting foods in the world june the 28th 1870 christmas became a national holiday in the united states of america however christmas day also now shares its day with the national pumpkin pie day that's right this day has been around since the late 1990s and it is a great opportunity to really appreciate the pumpkins in all their glory pumpkins have been used for many centuries as food and decoration but today they are a part of some of our favorite fall recipes such as pumpkin pie pumpkin bread pumpkin spice lattes you can even buy pumpkin ice cream and even roasted pumpkin seeds. If you have not done so already, please take a moment to subscribe we would love for you to be a part of our community here on Kitchen Garden Farmhouse. Giving a like and a comment helps the channel to grow with its algorithm. And anytime you share the videos with others, that also helps the channel to grow. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video.